All right, so we're working on the Land Cruiser again today. Uh, this is kind of phase two of the build. We already did a Rock Sider video, which is part of phase two, but this video is gonna be a little bit different. We're doing a whole bunch of different things, and this was all kind of shot over the span of like a month. Uh, everything from sound dampening, uh, the floors and inside the fender wells, uh, replacing like moisture barriers and the door panels. Uh, we did new speakers. Uh, we put in like a mountain hatch, uh, cutting board on the tailgate. Um, we even put on a hitch that we found on eBay, just random stuff that we've done to kind of upgrade, maintain, or, uh, you know, restore this vehicle, uh, more and more. And it's pretty common if you're doing this to this kind of vehicle. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna get right into it. Uh, we are cutting off these bolt ends that are on the bottom of our rear bumper, uh, on the bottom of the frame. And these were actually getting in the way of this hitch we picked up from eBay. And so the holes didn't really line up. Uh, these don't really seem to serve a purpose. Um, so we went ahead and started cutting them off with a reciprocating saw. That, we just slide the bolts right through, slap the nut on, and it came out pretty clean. It's a decent hitch. All right, so we're just using these uh, front runner tie downs as Max Trax tie downs by just using a longer bolt. Let me slap that on real quick. Dealing with the rust removal here, um, we found some problem areas, so we started to do a little bit of cleanup. Um, prior to primering and painting everything using uh, steel brushes. We have this carpet underlayment on our tailgate and so we're getting ready to put a mountain hatch uh, cutting board on our tailgate. And so we removed this carpet and we're just trying to clean up some of the glue because we're going to go ahead and repaint this primer it and kind of refinish it before we put the cutting board uh, mountain hatch product on. Just added the uh, sound dampening inside and we're starting the primer and repaint, refinish this whole surface. We applied a primer prior to this color match paint we had made. Uh, we went to a local shop here and they basically scanned our truck and then color matched the paint. Gave us spray cans which ended up being pretty cool. The mount hatch goes on very simple, uh, basically like buttons, you just pop these clips right in, there's two bolts on it, and it's just a clean, functional add-on. We ordered uh, some mud flaps that we found on eBay, imported them in, and just kind of retrofitted them to the vehicle. This is how we did it. Moving on to the back here, uh, we're gonna sound dampen all of this. Uh, to do that, we gotta pop off these panels here and uh, we're gonna clean it up a little bit before and paint it all prior to sound dampening it. Uh, and then we're gonna check what's going on under those wheel wells and sound dampen inside the fender walls and sound dampen underneath those uh, wheel well covers as well. I don't know if every single uh, Land Cruiser has these kind of speakers in the rear or these, these speaker housings, but ours did. So we're just removing that uh, and we're gonna swap out the speakers entirely. This was just a couple Phillips, not rocket science. This is the old and this is the new. We're uh, using some Kenwood speakers. I'm gonna put the links in the bio but this is the sound dampening material we got. One is thicker. Um, this is the thickest one we picked up. And it's got double-sided tape on the back. So we're gonna try to cover as much of the available wall space with this material. Stick it to the walls. We already can wipe things down a little bit. Uh, and so we're gonna fill up the whole uh, fender well full of this stuff. All right, so we've more or less finished the inside of the fender well. On this side, and uh, 
can see we went all the way back there behind where the speaker goes. Working on the other side here, got our buddy Josh helping us out. Uh, we went ahead and kind of plastic lined the walls here, uh, laid down again some primer, laid down the color match spray, and we're just putting layer after layer. Um, we steel brushed as much as we could. These are the tie down points that came on the vehicle. Some of them are either rusty or oxidized. Some of this stuff, you know, I just didn't have replacements for, so I'm trying to restore a little bit of that and reuse them. Uh, this is the other material we got. It's thinner, but it's a lot easier to work with, so in tighter spaces we use that. Fanny's putting down the thicker stuff here to cover the large space of the trunk. But you can see some of the thinner stuff there around the bolts and tighter to reach areas or areas where we might need a little bit more access and we don't want thick stuff. It's pretty fun to work with and uh, came out pretty clean. Uh, we have a carpet that goes over all this. But we painted everything already. Um, everything's dried. We've now put the sound dampening material down. It's already in the fender wells and we put everything kind of back together again. And you can get another look at that mountain hatch there real clean and nice. So we're gonna slide the carpet right back in. Pretty clean. So we're taking out the seats because we plan to reupholster them. And while we were doing that, you know, we've got these wheel well covers that are just completely beat up. We found this material on eBay, we'll put the links in the bio, but Fanny went ahead and uh, started cutting into it and uh, it's sticky on one side it's not a real leather but it does the job so this is kind of what it ended up looking like you know we covered all the uh, damage uh, she kind of wrapped it as best she could and keep in mind this is all going to be blocked by the actual seats so. moving on to the doors we are going to put some sound dampening inside these doors we're going to replace the speakers and we've got you know some of these panels uh, that just look better than others and so we're gonna fix some of that too we use the same material that we did on the wheel wells and we kind of reupholstered them ourselves but as you can see this uh, sound dampening stuff we're using the thin stuff on the outside and we're using the thick stuff on the inside uh, it's pretty accessible this car is really easy to work on it's the benefits of having an older vehicle the simplicity is just so much easier so we got Josh here trying to fit it in. Again, it's just a double side tape. Uh, cut them to different size cubes, fit them into different corners, and just be patient, work it all in. It's pretty interesting that, you know, these vehicles, I guess, just came with none of this stuff. When we took off the moisture barrier, we they were pretty beat up already as it is, and it's a very thin material. So, Putting it back on was pretty much not going to work. So we are using like a painter's plastic and then we use the original pieces as a stencil. So Fanny here is just kind of gliding the scissor along and trying to do her best to uh, cut an exact fit, uh, fit match. Uh, we picked up the silicone stuff to use. It's similar to what was already on. And uh, this is her kind of first attempt at the cutout here. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a good material and it serves the same purpose. Uh, all the sound dampening stuff is inside already, so uh, yeah, came out fairly clean actually. And we didn't have any good footage of this, but I wanted to show you how the door panels turned out using that material we got from Amazon. All right, guys, so that wraps this video up. Uh, you may have noticed that we also reupholstered the seats. Uh, we plan to make a separate video on that, um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna keep working on this vehicle, so stay tuned for more videos. Uh, don't be surprised if we take apart the dashboard, slap a head unit in there, do some sound dampening uh, as well. But if you like these kind of videos and you like 60 Series Land Cruisers, you know, stay tuned because there's definitely more coming. Thanks.